urine is normally sterile. However, sometimes certain pathogens gain access to the urinary tract, causing urinary tract infections. Most common methods of transmission of these pathogens are colonization with ascending spread, as you can see in the picture above, hematogenous spread, and periurogenital spread. UTIs can involve any part of the urinary tract. Infection in different parts of the urinary tract are given different names. For example, infection of the bladder is called cystitis. Similarly, infection of the kidneys is called polonephritis. Infection of the urethra is called urethritis. And infection of the vagina is called vaginitis. Urinary tract infections are more common among females because they have a shorter urethra compared to males. Several risk factors are associated with the pathogenesis of urinary tract infections. These include frequent sexual intercourse, urinary catheterization, recent kidney transplantation, urine outflow obstruction, commonly due to renal stones, systemic diseases like diabetes mellitus, and certain medications such as immunosuppressive agents and certain antibiotics. Common organisms that are responsible for causing urinary tract infections include E. coli, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, Proteus mirabilis, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Enterococcus faecalis, and Candida species. Now let's see what are the symptoms of urinary tract infection. Patients with urinary tract infections may be asymptomatic. If present, the most common symptom is dysuria or pain during urination accompanied by urinary urgency and frequency. A sensation of bladder fullness and lower abdominal discomfort may also present in some individuals. Most often, patients experience pain in the sides and back of the abdomen, which is called flank pain. Bloody urine may present in about 10% of patients with urinary tract infections. Some people may also have fever and chills, and malas. However, these symptoms usually appear in more complicated disease.